This question is from Ashley Spencer. So thank you for your question, Ashley. And the question is, great stuff. Uh, I watched another video that stated I could use sideways loss relief into my PAYE income tax up to £50,000. Is that possible via an LLP? Assume you can't do that in a limited company structure. Also, be great to know some of the disadvantages. I believe you are taxed on income, assuming you haven't set up capital allowances. Is that prior to costs such as mortgage? If you're a high rate tax earner, uh, this could be significant. Uh, so, you can, so an LLP actually uh, is transparent for tax purposes. What that means is that the partners themselves individually are assessed uh, on uh, the profits, depending on how they split the profits, but they are assessed on their personal income. So let's say your personal income is £50,000 a year because you've got a PAYE income, so you've got a, a job somewhere, yeah, and then you have an LLP with two other people and you've made £60,000 profit, you own 33% each of uh, the business and you split the profits uh, a third each. Uh, that means you've got an additional 20,000, so now you've got 50,000 pound PAY income plus the 20,000 uh, pounds LLP profits. That would all get added together for your personal tax return purposes and then you would pay tax on the 70,000 uh, pounds. The same applies in the other way, which you've asked your question, as in if the LLP makes losses in a trading business, can you use those losses uh, against your PAY income or other income? Yes, you can. However, that doesn't apply to property uh, because you can only use property losses against property income or profits in the future. Uh, so if your question is specifically, can I use my property losses against other income? The answer is no. If the question is, can I use uh, trading losses in an LLP against my PAYE income? Then the answer is yes. Uh, you're then asking about the disadvantages. I did cover that uh, in a video on, on LLPs. So if you search through the channel and type in LLPs, you'll find a video there where I talk about the advantages, but also some of the disadvantages of uh, running through an LLP or having an LLP structure. Once you've seen that video, if you didn't have any further questions or something isn't clear, actually feel free to ask a question and I will happily answer that for you. You, have, you then further go on to talk about uh, capital allowances. Capital allowances, uh, what you're alluding to basically is you can write off capital allowances against your profits, uh, which means you end up paying less tax through the LLP. Uh, but obviously if you haven't got capital allowances, then you'll need to pay more tax depending on the amount of profits you make. Uh, then you, the last point, you're talking about the mortgage. See, if you have an LLP, uh, Section 24 still applies to you. So whether the properties are in your name, joint names, uh, or, or, or an LLP, uh, if, if you're caught by Section 24 under the finance cost restrictions, uh, then that would affect you. Uh, so if you run property through a limited company, Section 24 doesn't affect you. If you run your property business through an LLP, uh, as in your buy to let business, then Section 24 will affect you. So you can't write off all the mortgage costs uh, if you breach the rules in terms of uh, being a higher rate taxpayer. So you just need to be careful about that. But watch the other video. If you still got questions, I'll happily answer them for you.